Hello everyone and welcome back to another video coming to you straight from asheshq.com, the community curated website for all things Ashes of Creation. In this video, we will be briefly outlining some of the updated information for the Cleric that has been released by Intrepid Studios via Massively Overpowered. The Ashes of Creation video outlining this release can be found on their domain at ashesofcreation.com and over here at asheshq.com forward slash the cleric. You can also check in with Ashes of Creation on their social media under Ashes of Creation. With that being said, we're going to outline the changes to the cleric coming up in Alpha 1. Uh, please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it as it really, really does help us. And I'm hoping today will be the day that I earn your subscription if you don't already follow this channel. So if you enjoy it, your time here, uh, please do consider doing so. Uh, definitely do that so you don't miss out on any of the uh, content covering Ashes of Creation. Much love and let's get started. Castigation lashes your target with holy energy, dealing direct damage. It also provides health regeneration and mana restoration for you and your surrounding allies. The Divine Hammer of Justice. Judgment crushes your target with holy power, dealing direct damage and lowering their damage mitigation. Take aim and strike true. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like literally, we're talking about light. What, what do you expect from me? I'm a paladin in, inside. It's a cleric. I know it's a cleric, but come on, man. Lightbringer shit, come on. Sanctify. Hallowed ground fills the surrounding area with radiant energy, damaging enemies and healing allies. Exorcism unleashes a bout of holy power that rips at your target spirit, channeling damage over time. A divine energy blast damages nearby enemies at the end of the channel. Damnation curses your target dealing holy damage over time and lowering their damage output. Increasing this power also snares your target and extends its reach to enemies surrounding them. Devotion is a swift act that heals your target, adding a heal over time and a small area of healing around them as this power grows. Divine Censure launches a Radiant Spear at your target, dealing damage. Anytime that foe is attacked, the attacker has a chance to get healed. Benediction creates a chain of healing among your allies, increasing the number it affects as you grow stronger. Give the gift of life. Where others may see a fallen ally, a cleric sees a divine opportunity. Resurrection brings back an ally from the grasp of death. Now, my friends, if you enjoyed this video summarizing the changes to the cleric for Alpha One, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Join our Discord over at discord.gg forward slash simorg, S-I-M-U-R-G-H. You can catch me live on Twitch often on twitch.tv forward slash simorg, again, S-I-M-U-R-G-H. We would love to see you bring more to our conversations. And until next time, be safe and we will see you real soon.